anyone who ran last year will tell you the cold, wet course was brutal. Some toughed it out through the finish line, but thousands bailed early or wound up in the medical tent. The BAA obviously is watching the forecast carefully as it tries to be ready for whatever plays out. WBZ's Tashani Whitlow has a look at preparations from the finish line tonight. In the 123-year history of the Boston Marathon, the race has never been canceled because of weather. Runners tell us running a marathon is just like life. When things get tough, you just keep moving forward. Last year was the worst conditions we had ever seen. More than 2,700 runners required medical attention. And you get cold and you're wet, it's like no salvation. But it was windy, it was rainy, it was sleety. It was absolutely terrible conditions. But for three-time Boston Marathon champion and a women's marathon pioneer, Sarah Mae Berman, nasty weather can work in your favor. And I ran a 305.07, which was my best Boston. We caught runners like Mike Stone fueling up at the annual pasta dinner in City Hall. This is Stone's 100th marathon and seventh appearance in Boston. He's a pro at running in bitter cold temperatures. 42 degrees below zero wind chill, as much as 10 miles. Where when I've come back, it's been frost all over my head and face, and I've had icicle going down all the way to my chest. Since rain is in the forecast, in the event runners require medical attention, medical tents staffed by medical volunteers will be staged along the race course. The BAA tells WBZ they will be monitoring the weather and receiving updates from the National Weather Service. The weather never was of such a danger that it was unsafe for people to run. We've been close to those boundaries, but so far, uh, the runners who are very strong, the volunteers who never give up, and the spectators who take care of their runners on their course. A combination of cold temperatures, wind speed, and rain accounted for most of the treatments during last year's race, conditions that the BAA plans to prepare for again on Monday. Reporting at the finish line in Boston, Tashani Whitlow, WBZ News.